Good evening, I'm Alex Dierkman. The Brown County Courthouse renovation project is now officially postponed. The county clerk's office issued the certification yesterday, verifying that there are 182 signatures in favor and about 1,400 against the renovation. The ballot count means the project that would have cost Brown County $4 million to complete is now officially postponed. The county commissioners and community members plan to find alternatives to the project. Indiana's unemployment rate dropped to 8.1 percent last month, its lowest level in nearly a year. Both the manufacturing and private educational and health services sectors made, that, made significant gains, each adding 3,000 jobs. But the state's private sector as a whole lost 2,900 jobs in August. University of Indianapolis economist Matt Will says the economy continues to send mixed messages. He says job losses in the transportation, construction, hospitality and leisure, se leisure sector sectors can concern him because he says those are sectors that lead a growing economy. In the 10 days since the General Electric plant in Bloomington announced its plans to lay off 160 workers, the local union has been negotiating with the company. Local union president Carvin Thomas says his group has been meeting with GE on and off since the company announced the layoffs, with both sides laying out their proposals. Though he wouldn't specifically discuss the terms of the negotiations, Thomas says he is hoping to see GE transition many people out through various retirement packages. He says this would significantly lessen the impact of layoffs. And here's a look at the weather tonight. Mostly cloudy and a 90% chance of storms with 57 degrees as the low. Tomorrow, also partly cloudy, 71 degrees as the high. And here's a look at the five-day forecast. Sunday will be sunny, 70, 70 degrees as the high, 72 degrees on Monday and sunny. Tuesday, mostly clear and 75 degrees as the high, 57 degrees as the low. For WTIU News, I'm Alex Dierkman.